As a channel, we've spent a whole lot of time explaining Brexit, which makes sense considering our main series is called, well, Explaining Brexit. So we want to take a step back and explain why we're in this complicated brexit -y mess. We're not going to explain what's happening currently, we're not going to use the word pro-rogue a thousand times, and we're definitely not going to speculate wildly about the future of Brexit. So it's an unusual video for us. Instead of our normal tropes, we're going to very quickly explain what's happening on a much higher level. And in the spirit of quickness, I'm going to make this plug a lot quicker than normal too. We have a new series called Opinionated, where we talk about controversial topics and what our audience thinks about them. The first episode is coming out on September 13th, so if you want your opinion to be included, then complete the survey as soon as possible. You can find a link to that survey in the comments below. Also be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when the new series comes out. Okay, plug over. At the most basic level, we all know why Brexit is happening at the moment. Back in 2016, the government called a referendum which asked the people of the UK if they wanted to leave the European Union. And to most people's surprise, including the government, the electorate voted that they wanted to leave. Referenda are a form of direct democracy, where people directly participate in the democratic process. This is unusual in the UK, because it's a parliamentary democracy, where ordinarily elected members of parliament make decisions on the electorate's behalf. The people normally place their democratic power in the hands of these elected representatives, and that's where things get complicated on this occasion. The electorate voted to leave the EU in the referendum, and now it's the job of MPs to make that happen. The problem is that a majority of MPs think that leaving the EU is a bad idea, and they're not exactly willing to make it happen, even if they believe that following the will of the people is the right thing to do. And it's those two forces that have caused the current chaos. The people voted to leave, but most MPs think that's a bad idea. After three years, MPs have failed to come up with a solution which keeps both sides happy, and most of them still don't really believe that Brexit will be good for the country. That leaves Brexiteers complaining that it's undemocratic that their vote is being ignored, while at the very same time Remainers are saying that taking away Parliament's power and not allowing them to ignore the vote is also undemocratic. These two conflicting forces have made reaching any agreement hard. Brexiteers insist that direct democracy must be listened to. Remainers insist that parliamentary democracy must be protected. Unless we can find a balance between these two views, it looks like it's going to be impossible to keep everyone happy. It's kind of ironic that many people who voted for Brexit did so because they wanted to take back control from the EU, giving it to our parliamentary democracy. However, how things have played out, it seems the only way that that's going to be possible is suspending the very parliament that's meant to be regaining control. I'd be interested to see your take on this in the comments. What do you think about this dilemma? Take the politics out of it, ignore which side of the debate you fall on, and think about how you'd feel about this if you weren't leave or remain. Should people be listened to regardless of the consequences? Should elected representatives remain sovereign and able to act with the power they had bestowed upon them by the electorate at the general election? Is it okay to ignore people's democratic vote in a referendum? Is it okay to ignore the views of the very people elected to represent us? I'd be interested to hear what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more from us as the news unfolds, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time we release a video, then also hit the bell icon. If you want more content from us, you can find us across all the social networks simply by searching for TLDR News. And if you want a name to be featured at the end of the videos just like these people, then be sure to back us on Patreon. There's a link to that in the description.